Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to talk about my purse organizer. If you're new here, hi, my name is Christina Dewitowitz. I am a former TV news reporter now making lifestyle, beauty, fashion, petite fashion related content. So if you're not following me on all of my social media channels, feel free to do so. I post a lot more on my Instagram and I also post about my corgis. They also have their own Instagram at Biggie Corgi. I have two corgis and I'm a little corgi obsessed. But back to today's main point of the video, my purse organizer. So let's get going with that. So first let's talk about the purse that the purse organizer is for. And that is my Tory Burch Ella Patent Nylon Tote. I don't have room to back up, but if I can, here is how it looks on. I am five, now I am five foot tall. This probably isn't even a good shot, so. But it's just like your regular tote bag. It is bigger than the long chomp bag that I have. So just a few more details on this bag because I love seeing purse comparisons, especially when I'm looking to buy a purse and I can't check it out in person. So this purse isn't new at all. It's been around. I've seen it while I was in college. So that was a few years ago. Um, but here it is compared to the long shop. I wish I could back up more, but I can't. So here it is. Here it is. So it's just a little more, it's just a tiny bit bigger. I mean, it looks a lot bigger because when you look at it from the side, this expands. So definitely bigger. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I used to be a reporter. And that means that I was out and about trying to shoot my stories because a lot of times I did work on my own and I didn't always have a photographer there with me to shoot the video. So the majority of the time I was out carrying my own gear, my own camera, uh, my purse with all of my like supplies, like a microphone, and maybe an SD card, maybe an external battery charger. So things like that. And then also of course your makeup, like your lip gloss, powder, uh, maybe eyeshadow, like everything really, and tons of lipsticks. So when I left TV, I never really thought I would need another tote bag for work. I thought I could just carry like a simple purse, uh, maybe, a, and definitely not a purse this big again, because really what was I carrying? What did I actually really need? So for the longest time ever, I was carrying my long shop bag for work. And then I switched over to this Kate Spade bag for work so it was a bit nicer also a bit smaller but still very spacious on the inside and also has a handle to carry it over your shoulder and then i was carrying this for a while but because i've had it for a few years i just kind of wanted to change still very much love this bag we will keep it for a long time um, but i just wanted to switch it up so i thought hey since i'm not on tv i can carry one of my nice purses and when i say since i'm not on tv i mean because I would always leave my tote bag at this, in the newsroom at the station. That would always just have like my extra things. But whenever I was out and about shooting my story, I would carry a little backpack with me. So not like a big school backpack, but a smaller kind. And that way it was just easier for me to move around and shoot my video and kind of still be hands-free while having what I needed on me. And so that's another reason why I never wanted to carry a designer bag in the newsroom because you never know. I, I like to keep my designer pieces with me at all times and I would never want to leave it at a place where where I'm not gonna be there for a while because sometimes when I'm out, I am out for hours. But then when I moved to Montana, I got a non-news job. I wanted to switch to my Gucci. I think this is called like a Boston Soho bag or something. I don't know. I know they don't sell it anymore, so you will have to buy it pre-loved. I have it linked somewhere. I'll try to find the same link and see if I can find it like on a fashion file again. So I was carrying this bag for a while and then I realized it just wasn't ideal for work which was really weird to me because it is very spacious. You can fit a lot in here. It has that slouchy boho look to it. Um, and I just got like purse bags in here, dust bags. And it also has the shoulder strap. So wh what was what was my problem? So the problem was I would still need to carry a laptop every now and then. I also found myself having to carry some folders around, which also is not ideal for this type of bag because you just can't it just won't fit in there. So then I came to the realization that, hey, maybe I do actually need another tote bag. So I was in the market for a new tote bag and I decided to, you know, try something new. I did want a refresh from my Kate Spade bag. I obviously want the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but that's not gonna happen for a while. That's well over a thousand dollars. It's just not in my budget right now. And those designer things that I have been buying have only been a couple hundred and that's in the low hundreds. 
hundreds. So I've never made it past like 500, you know? And I know when you think about it and you put it all together, that could add up to almost the cost of one Neverfull, but it's just a lot to spend out once. So while a Neverfull MM in the Dame print is still on my wish list, I decided to get something more affordable in the designer world. So that's why I got this Tory Burch purse. I absolutely love it. I also love that it's super durable. So when I carry it around at work, I don't have to be that careful. Even though when I do spend money on nicer pieces, I am always careful. But if you look at the Longchamp bag here, which I believe I got while I was working in Texas. So it is a few years old, but it's held up really well. But, the only, but you see signs of wear on the corners. I think on all four corners. Yeah, and they all are pretty similar looking. They all look like this, all right? Just a, t a small, tiny hole. I do eventually wanna get another one, but at this moment, I have my eyes on higher end designer pieces. And the straps have held on really, like I got a Rebecca Minkoff tote bag. It was, uh, I think probably a little bit cheaper. It might've been like, you know, the Nordstrom rack price but the straps just started like getting all stringy and this has not like definitely love long shop very durable lasts a long time so i got this bag because it just seemed a little more ideal to carry all of the things that i would and could need so if i wanted to bring a bigger jacket or something like i could easily just stuff it in here it's just so much more practical i think for work and that's when I realized that I can't just bring like my everyday purse to work because I have needs. And then I knew I wanted this purse to be different because I wanted it to be a little more organized. And I decided this is gonna be the purse that I buy my first purse organizer for. Now you're probably wondering, geez, you just decided on a purse organizer. Yes, my Speedy doesn't even have an organizer in it. So it really is a bottomless pit in there. But after my experience with this purse organizer, I think that I'm just gonna have to get one for my speedy. I know there are a ton of companies out there that make these and they have different sizes so that they all can fit in the correct bag. Um, so, but this one I got straight from Amazon. I wasn't looking to get too crazy or too fancy. I just wanted something that I knew had good reviews and that was easily accessible. I wouldn't have to wait a long time to get it because I had just ordered the bag and you know I wanted them to come at the same time. And Amazon seemed like the best option. So this is the bag I got. This is made to fit Neverfulls and that Tory Burch tote bag. I made sure to like search on the reviews for the Tory birch tote bag and um, someone had mentioned it or had asked a question about it and it seemed like the perfect fit and they were right here it is in all its glory I will change the shot of the camera so that you can see everything that I have in there but I also wanted to mention it did come with this little pocket thing so it's kind of like one of those never full um, wristlets that the never full comes with you have little pockets here. I just I decided to take this out so that I would have more space in the center part of this purse organizer, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's all in there. Okay, so here is the purse organizer. You can see everything that I have in here and there are a lot of pockets to separate your items. So here on the outside, I just have a face mask just because you never know what's going on with COVID. I have my hand sanitizer right here. And you can see these pockets, they're pretty big and they're pretty spacious. On the other side, there is a pocket right here and I just like to keep my blue light glasses in there for work. And I have my actual sunglasses, which usually these are empty because I like to take my sunglasses out and change them out, change them out every time. But I guess that did not work out here. So on the other side of that, I have some hand sanitizer wipes and a mirror. This, this used to be black, but now it's um, it's blue. It's very old. It's from high school. And then let's just turn the bag around because I want to show you what the other type of pockets in here. These are smaller. So I have my AirPod Pros in here. I got this case from Etsy. I've got some pepper spray. I thought this was a cute color, so I thought, why not? And then my pen, which this is a very big space for just one pen, but it's easy to find and I know it's always in there. Now in the main inner pocket, I have my wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton 
Victorine wallet in the rose ballerine color. I think it's so beautiful. I have a portable tripod case that I absolutely love having. It also has a little remote on the side. So this is for your phone. So it's very, very convenient to have. I've got my work ID. And then I have this little catch-all pouch from Gucci. It just has like my powder sunscreen, um, oil absorbing sheets, lip gloss, medicine, a nail cutter, you know, the essentials. And so that is all of what's in my purse organizer, but I want to show you something else that it came with. So this is the inner um, pocket and usually it goes and it goes in like right there. So it Velcros to the edge like that on that side. So you can kind of have a double area right here, but because I just wanted a more open space for my current tote bag that I'm using it for, I just decided to take it out because also I just wanted this to fit nicely in there, which it would be squeezed in and then it would just push that way. So it was kind of pointless if I left it. So I just decided to remove that. And so now after having a purse organizer in a tote bag, I don't think I could ever go back because everything has been so easy to find. Everything has its own place and I can easily find what I need very quickly. Like my wallet, my work ID, uh, my tripod, even my AirPods and a pen because they all have their own little slots in here. I know I am super, super late to the game, but I just, you know, you, you never know. Like there could be someone else who's like me who really waited on getting a purse organizer. And I just want this video to be helpful to you guys, especially if you've been on the fence on getting a purse organizer. Like, nah, I don't really need it. I don't see the point. Well, I always knew I would eventually want one, like if I got a Neverfull, but, but yet I never got one for my Speedy. So there was that difference there. So I was like, in the end, it really is worth it. And I don't think mine was that expensive really. And I don't know how it compares to other brands that don't sell on Amazon or probably just sell via their own website or Etsy. But I'm really happy with this one. And I chose black because my purse is black. So I don't know if there were other color options for maybe like the Neverfull in a rose ballerine color or the red one. Um, or I know there is a Louis Vuitton purse that has an orange inner color now another tote bag I think which I also love. I also like that this comes with a little um, strap for the keys. What do they call it? It's like a keychain hook or something. Oh it's also removable so you don't even need it in your purse organizer. I didn't know that but I like to keep it in there that way I don't lose it and wonder where it's at. The other cool thing is that if I did end up buying a never full, I mean I know I will eventually I just don't know when you can easily just take your purse organizer already filled up and, then, and just move it to your next bag. How convenient is that? And that kind of ensures that you're not gonna forget anything or misplace anything because it's all there. Everything you need when you wanna switch a purse, that's the only move you gotta make. Isn't that great? And then you're ready to go. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I like to post content on beauty, petite fashion, and lifestyle, and corgis. So if you like all that, make sure you give me a follow on all my social channels. And I hope to see you in the next video, which I hope will be one that I've been waiting to shoot. Um, I'm very excited about it. It will be designer related, I'm hoping. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.